Hi guys, it's Matt from Max in UK, and in this video we are going to be looking at the cloner. So the cloner object in Cinema 4D is a massive and useful tool. Okay, it's found under the MoGraph section, but it's not just used for MoGraph anymore. I mean, it has so many amazing uses that there's no way I could possibly list them. Not in this sort of quick two or three minute tutorial anyway. But the cloner just does exactly that. It clones things and it clones whatever is a child of it. So if I put a cube in a clone, it creates more cubes. You can see that we've got a count and we've got a uh, distance and you can quickly you know, increase that distance so that they spread out. You can increase the number so that you can create you know, a massive stack of them ever so quickly. Look, you can see that it just all the way up, all the way there. It's absolutely brilliant. You can do offsets so they could start up or lower. You can change the angles, um, the directions that these things can go in. It's absolutely brilliant. Okay, and that's just linear at the moment. You could do radial, so you could put them all in a square, a square, a circle. There you go, and you can increase the account, so if you need stuff like that, it's absolutely wonderful. You can also go so far as to use a grid array, and that way you can easily, if you just watch this, create giant stacks of things, the number that you have depending on how many you have in your count. So you can easily and quickly add more, make a Rubik's Cube type thing, um, or spread them out. You can use the orange handles to give a sort of organic approach, or you can use your um, uh, attributes manager to change exactly how it all goes together. So that is incredibly useful. You can even go for a honeycomb array. So if you're interested in some form of uh, brickwork type thing, perhaps, then there you go. You can easily add in, you know, block bricks and be able to produce something that will allow you to create something maybe that looks like a brick wall. Okay, it's so fast to be able to use and really quite easy to do as well. Not only that, but you can use the cloner object to place stuff over different objects. For instance, putting trees all over a landscape. Okay, so by simply putting a palm tree in the cloner object, the cloner object is set to object mode and then dragging the landscape object in, you can so quickly populate areas like this and then move around them incredibly fast. Because these are clones and they're only referencing one, it's really quite memory saving on your machine and you can wander around them in much easier fashions. Okay, so the cloner object has an awful lot of different uses. A lot of people do use it for motion graphics because it's really easy to set up shapes like this one or this one or combine it with interesting effectors and splines to create something like this or maybe something like this. There are so many different things that you can use with the Cinema 4D cloner object that it would be impossible to go through all of them in a short video like this. But I hope this gives you a taster as to what the object is for and some of the interesting things that you can do with it. And I will catch you next time.